Oops. Oh, that's crooked. There we go. All right. So you have the letter A and you have the letter T. Figure out what each one is so that you can solve correctly. T is the number of years after 1998. So this is, we had some problems sort of like this where we had a, a year starting. So years after, after 1998. So before we do anything else, let's get all cleared up. The year 2000, what would T be? Two. Two. Okay, right? T is how many years after 1998? What about 2010? What's T? 12. Okay, so that's, all right, so we got what T is. So T is years after 1998. So I know, okay, for some reason that's 1,000. Now it's 1,400. Now it's art, or something like that. Okay, and what does A stand for? Population. That's the population. A is the population. It's important that you stop and look at your equation, make sure you know what everything stands for. E is that number that's about 2.7. That's not a variable. It's a number. So they're telling you how to figure out what the population is at any given year after 1998. So this question says when will, when will the population be 140,000? So which of those letters are we trying to find? Yeah, we're trying to find when is time. So we're trying to find time. They gave us the population. Population is 140,000. They gave you A. You're trying to find T. So let's fill in what we know. They gave us the population was 140,000. Okay, but we have to be careful here because A is already given to you in thousands. So don't put 140,000 here, just put 140, because they want it in thousands. So A is 140, so that's going to equal 118E to the point zero two four t power. And we're trying to find T. So this right here is just like what you just did. I have an exponent with a variable in it, and I'm trying to solve for that variable. It's trapped. As an exponent, I need to do the natural log, but before I do, this is that last problem we just did. I have a coefficient I need to get rid of first. So I'm going to get rid of that 118 first. I'm multiplying 118, 118 times the e. So to get rid of it, I'm going to divide. Now, Taylor, your wildest dreams are about to come true because right now, you're going to get to change that fraction to a decimal. Have at it. Go to town. Three decimal places. What do you got? 1.186. All right. How'd that feel? Okay. I figured you would. All right, so that's where we are now. And... I'm trying to solve for this variable. It's trapped as an exponent. So I have to take the natural log of both sides so that I can use my power rule. Natural log of this ugly number equals natural log of e to this 0, 2, 4, t. The reason you take the natural log of both sides is so that you can use the power rule and bring that power forward. So that gives you 0 0.024 natural log of E. And really to be fast, oh, T, my T is in here, sorry. 0 0.024 T times the natural log of E. I didn't do this on the last problem, and I should have, and I'm hoping you guys did. Natural log of E is 1. So I have 0 0.024 T times 1, so I don't need that natural log of E. Natural log of E is equal to 1. And so I don't need it there because something times 1 is just itself. So you can just mark it off. So right now I have natural log of 1.186 equals 0.024t and divide by your 024 to get t by itself. 
Notice it's not the natural log of O24, it's just O24. in there. You're doing good. I'm proud of you. All right, you get 7.1077. But for this word problem's sake, I just want to know how many years, so I'm going to round that to the nearest whole number of seven years. But that's not the answer to my question. Oh. Nope. When will it reach? Oh. Yes. 2005. Good. Yep. So seven is how many years after 1998? So add 1998 to your seven, and it tells you in 2005, that population will be 140,000. You don't like that? No. I like that better than the ones on our last day. Yeah, well, yeah. I think they're easier. There's less steps on these. So the final answer to the question is 2005. All right, so this one, you're trying to figure out what does f of x stand for and what does x stand for. So I'm looking right here. It says x is the number of consecutive days it practiced. So x stands for number of days. And f of x tells me it says this function models the average number of free throws a player can make consecutively. So f of x gives me consecutive free throws. So the function models, and what it models, the words coming after it tells you what f of x stands for. x, it tells you right here, it defines that. So now I have to figure out what they're asking for. After how many days of practice, so they want x. They want to know how many days. And they've given you how many consecutive free throws, that's 9. So they gave you f of x. You're trying to find x. So your equation sets up like this. 9 equals 1 plus 1 1.4 times the natural log of x plus 1. I'm trying to get x by itself. I have lots of stuff to get rid of. First thing I'm going to get rid of is this number 1 that's being added. Do the opposite and subtract. I've got a coefficient I need to get rid of now, so divide. So this is different. I don't take the natural log of both sides, why not? The only time you take the natural log of both sides is when your variable is an exponent. But this is not an exponent, so I can't do that. So this is like, sort of like, your homework. In fact, it could have been a homework problem. <laughs> that was very expressive exhaling. Um, well, sort of like 6 through 9, you're defining this here. But you're going to need to translate that so that you can solve it. Right, 5.714 is equal to, remember natural log is log base E of this thing. And I've got to translate that so that I can solve it. If I translate this, it tells me E to the 5.714 power is equal to X plus 1. This you can do in your calculator. You have a, an E button. It's above your natural log. You see a little yellow E to the X. So when you hit that E key, oops, sorry, you have to do second and then hit that. 
It gives you a thing that says E with a little carrot symbol, that little triangle looking thing. So you have to hit your second key and then hit your natural log key and that will pull up E to the, and it's waiting for the exponent, you just type in 5.714. and then subtract your one. Ah! So 302.081 is X. Uh, again, your E is above the natural log, so you have to use your second, second and hit natural log. It will pull up an E. This raises it to an exponent. Type in your exponent, hit enter. All right, I got a question. What do you got? After we got 5.71 yep. equals, yep, okay. natural log of e, and then the x plus, x plus 7, yeah, right there. Okay. What do we do after that? You translate e to the this power equals that. Oh, so that's what it was. Okay. Yep. Okay. And so e to the that power, you do in your calculator, and then subtract your 1. So now I have to translate according to my problem. What's you raise your hand or you're just chilling? No, I didn't. Just just chilling. Oh, you know what do you got? You have your natural, see your natural log key? Yes. LN? Oh, okay, okay. It's above it. Okay. So you have to do one? this right here. Yeah, I don't know. So we do that. Uh, 5.7. That makes a lot more sense. Well, your exponent is 5.714. So I just found x was 302. We're going to round to whole numbers here. So did I answer their question? It said, after how many of days of practice? Well, that's after 302 days. So it's going to take that dude almost a year. So what do we, what do, we do with the x plus 1? You're solving for x. Oh, so this is possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, once we get there. Yep. All right. 302 days. That's all the part I don't understand is how you, you put that E. The next step over here? Right here, yeah. Okay, natural log E is log BC. That's the definition of it. So we, in order to solve it, we had to write the definition of it and then translate. And then we can get x by itself. Yep. That was a doozy. That was a doozy, wasn't it? All right, for homework on these worksheets, you're going to do... Are all the rest of them the same? No, no, they're not all the same, so I don't want you to do all of them. Uh, but you can do number three, because we did one for those on homework. Do three, four, five. <coughs> Actually, you can do all of these. Yeah, do all the rest. You can do them. Okay, I'll make sure these videos are uploaded. Watch those videos. That's it, just all the word problems. Yeah, just all the word problems.